Welcome to Tom Strong Reviews. Here is my Nano Space Port, and it's built out of the Hexbug Nano Space Cosmic Command Habitat set, the Space Discovery Station set, as well as the Zipline Habitat set. So all pieces that you see on the table are from those three sets. So if you've got all three sets, the same as me, you can build this. You need nearly five foot of table space and about two and a half foot depth. So if you've got a large nano table and you want to set your nanos free on a space adventure, this build is one you might just like. I'm gonna do something a little bit different in this video. I'm not just gonna have these guys, all these Hexbug nanos running around and doing space exploration. I'm also gonna do a kind of a story and an adventure that explains some of the benefits and some of the features of this set that I've built. I've got three main compartment areas to this set. I've got a kind of command center control area here on the left. At the back on the right, I've got all the main mining operations. So you can see I've got some airlock doors, double airlock doors going through the main Hexburg Nano drive set areas. And I've got a space port here on the right here. So this is where they can come and go. And this space port, of course, is connecting them to their mining operation, which is going on underground, under the table, which you can't quite see. Perhaps on the lift shafts are actually mine tunnel shafts as well. Again, this is all for you to experiment with. I've got weapons guarding my base, I've got sensor dishes rotating, and I've got 10 Hexburg Nano V1s in this set, and I'm gonna go through various adventures with them now. Okay, I've got the Hexburg Nanos all being busy doing their thing, except the two Nano Drive drivers. So I've got obviously a blue Nano, for the blue tops truck. And over to the right, we've got an orange nano for the orange truck. They get to do their job in a bit. At the moment, the command center people are busy. Spaceport people are preparing the ship, refueling, etc. Of course, they'll need the orange nano drive truck to help with the refueling, that'll come on later. On the left here, the command center are checking the mining reports, analyzing the data, seeing what next to do before sending off the nano drives for their day's work. All the lifts are in the down position. There's a reason for that. So they're able to go in the bottom of the lifts and come out again. All the details of the various pieces, of course, are covered extensively in my reviews of each individual set. This is more about an adventure and a story and what you can do with a possible build. Okay, time to open up my inner airlock door and observe full protocols and let it shut again blue to the blue truck and if the orange would go to his that'd be fantastic they're both off he's off on a refuel mission now the blue guy is going to go to the carport area and he's going to load up with some particularly refined cargo ready for the fuel ship fuel ship ready for the spaceship the cargo ship of course which is waiting now these guys need a little bit of help driving a little bit of help steering but sometimes they do exactly what you want them to do. And we've now got ourselves two nano trucks, really pretty close to the spaceship, ready for their next task. What I'm gonna do is zoom in, and of course we're gonna uh, play through a few of this, and a few of the scenarios that can happen in my nano space port. Now a few of the guys are pushing each other out. They're a little bit boisterous, they're very excited to be in this new setup. So what we're gonna do is zoom in a little bit, area by area but you get the whole idea of how the command system works the mining system we've got the spaceport guys if i lower the lift this actually is one of the hexbug nano space nano command nanos or pilots as i'm going to call it and he can now be up waiting for the ship to be finished fueled ready to slide around of course we've got maneuvering jets and we then got ourselves an ace pilot to take our cargo ship lift off to supply with the ships in orbit. Okay, cargo and fuel now loaded. The Space Nano Ranger Commander is in his ship. We are ready for blast off. Okay, 
these guys have done their job well. Now they're now waiting for the next mission as these guys again prepare the spaceport for the return of the nano spaceship. Another regular fuel mission for our orange nano drive here. A little bit of help steering. Looks like our blue driver is reading uh, some more details or technical schematics about his load for the cargo pickup. Okay, fueling is underway. And some of the stuff these guys are mining on this outpost, pretty rare, explosive and dangerous stuff, which is why we've got so much isolation going on. Okay, fueling's done. Come on, blue guy, you're late. You're gonna have to do two trips at this rate. I'm gonna have to dock that guy's pay. I think he's actually just watching something. I think he's got Netflix on there. Nope, it's YouTube. Well, you can forgive him for that. Okay, so the orange guy is done. I'm actually gonna let him in through these quarters here. Decided he can help these guys in the spaceship area. He's done. We can remote control and reverse the nano drive trucks. That's always been the case. Okay, I fired up the blue guy. He's got two loads to do, but, he, but he's told me he does not want to lose any salary. So he's gonna take all four pieces in one go. He's fully loaded now. Off he goes. Your load's unstable, blue. Reverse, oh no. Okay. That's catastrophic. That's damaged a very high refined mineral and that's gonna explode. Blue, get out of there. Save yourself. Come on, get out of there. Save yourself. Okay, now the blue truck is gonna be able to get away. But it's gonna cause irreparable damage to the base. This is exploding, this is exploding. What can we do? Well, all I can say is Part of the base is now damaged. If you notice, this is also where all the EVA spacesuits and spaceships are. How are they going to get to it now that this part of crucial track has been damaged? This really causes a spaceport base emergency. Okay, we have a full spaceport emergency. Blue, what on earth have you gone undone? Yes, you can unload your cargo, but we're going to have to use that ship, that cargo ship, as a rescue ship. Let's get the lift going and let's get the passengers in. Bluey is going to unload his cargo, this is last run, and he's going to have to use the alternative entrance to the base. He's got a long drive. Off you go. Okay, one by one we're going to bring up all the nanos, and we're going to get them in the spaceship. Bringing the lift down and using it as the emergency exit. All the guys are going to hurry along. Don't normally get two and lift at once, but I'm going to do that. I'm allowing it this time, breaking some of the safety procedures because it's such an emergency. Okay, we've now got the three nanos in the space port, spaceport section all ready up the lift, ready for loading. You're not on a cargo ship, you're the rescue ship. They're all loaded in now. We're going to take off and go to the main ship in orbit. Okay, Blue is going to have to use a side emergency exit. Let's free up that nano truck which had water and air supply options. We're now gonna get the blue guy back into the base. We're gonna use the airlocks of course to allow him safe entry. And at least he's now back in with the guys in the command center. How do we rescue these guys? Those that have been observant will notice we've got zip line clips. At least they can access the zip line clips here. Okay, zip line being established for emergency evacuation. We we'll open up for the lift and we're going to take them one by one and we're going to lead them to the space line center. Plus two, blue guy will just come around and what we're going to do of course because you only get three hooks with each zip line set is we're gonna of course use the same zip line to ferry the empty cages back up. Okay, our Nano Space Rangers returned from orbit, ready to pick up and rescue more of his colleagues. We've got three Nanos rescued 
via the zip line, they're gonna make their way up through the lift. And of course, they unbuckled their harnesses and by a simple pulley system, they've been returned back for the next three. Okay, let's keep on with the zip line rescues. And of course, we've also got the guys coming up ready for the next load. Let's get another guy hurried in the lift. Ah, I hadn't bring it down. <laughs> so of course the grey guy had to reverse out. Now, you're probably realising who the last nano that's going to come out of here that is going to be. Yep, that's right. The blue truck driver. And I think that's only fair. Okay, that's three more rescue away in the, in the rescue ship. One of these nanos needs to just take his harness off, bring it back for the final blue guy. And we're good. That's three more away. Okay, just the blue guy left. Harness, of course, was sent over again. Yes, come on, blue guy, don't hesitate. There we go. For a minute there, I thought he was going to do a jump. Okay, and of course, catching them one by one, ready for when the sh rescue ship is back from its orbit. Rescue ship's on its way back. It starts filling soon. Up he goes, he's fallen over again. I think what's going on is the base is slowly exploding. Come on, blue guy. Even though you cause havoc. We're loading the spaceship now. Come on, blue guy. There's no cargo, so there's room for you in the hold. There you go, and they've all escaped. All in and loaded. It's heavier than normal, but they're all okay for the takeoff. And we've just now saved ourselves, the entire crew, from my nano spaceport. Even though there's been an explosion and we lost atmospheres, we were able to save everyone down the zip line. I hope you enjoyed this adventure setup. Nano Spaceport has been successfully evacuated. Let me know what you think we should do with the blue nano driver. Should we reprimand him? Put him in the brig? Put him out the airlock? Let me know in the comment section below. Please feel free to like, subscribe and comment. Not in the back end. Okay, so the orange guy is already going for his drive. Excellent, he's off. He's off on a fuel mission. And the blue guy really shouldn't have gone out there. That's a shame. <laughs> Lift off to supply with the ships in orbit. <laughs> he just rolled over. He's laughing at me. Okay, a regular fuel mission going on here for the orange driver. Another regular mission for the orange driver. Uh, come on. Another regular fuel mission for all.